So today we'll be doing an application video for Finger Paints Paint Me Oh So Modern. And I've got my supplies lined up here. I have my base coat. I'm using a Sally Hansen base and top coat because that's what I have, even though I actually have the Finger Paints Gel Polish base coat too. And of course, this one. And I also have pieces of cotton prepared for wiping off the tacky stuff and also for prepping my nails and I'm going to be using my Sally Hansen one. It's got an automatic shut off at 30 seconds so you don't have to have a timer or anything like that. So I soaked this little piece of cotton with some 70% isopropyl rubbing alcohol. Just rubbing alcohol, you know. And I prep my nails, taking off any oils that would prevent the gel polish from adhering to my nail and wipe them like this. Also, I don't push back my cuticles for this video because I've already done that last night when I was doing nail prep, which I may make a video of next time. And so yeah, you just keep wiping until all your the oils are gone. And so we put on our base coat. And it seems like for my last application or something like that, there's some disgusting stuff. In my bottle of base coat, so I have to wipe that off. I have to be really careful not to get any of this on any surrounding skin because it's not toxic or anything. Well, it probably is, but if you get it on any skin, also I probably shouldn't have started with my thumb, but I got so used to regular nail polish and I'm sealing off the edge right now. But anyway, if you get any on your skin and it cures, it's going to lift up and your gel manicure will not last as long as it should. I think I hear the baby. And I probably really shouldn't have used that cotton now because I can see the supplies thing. In there. Next thing I'm not going to use the cotton nails. I saw a really neat trick that somebody else used. They use um, a paper towel instead for their nail prep. And that was pretty neat. So I'm going to do this hand first and then I'm probably going to put some on my other thumb too and cure it with the other thumb at the same time. So you can only fit up to four fingers at once in the little curing light. There's that little piece of fuss on you. So I don't plug in my lamp right away because look what happens as soon as I plug it in. It turns on. So I wait. I wait until I have everything done and then that's my little adapter at the end. And now we're waiting the 30 seconds, and I don't think I should really record the full 30 seconds. And as you can see, I'm doing my thumbs together. Um, and in the process, I realized that I didn't seal off the other nails with base coat, so I think I'll be okay, but I really should have done it. And now I can't pause the video because both my thumbs are under in the lamp and I think this time I'll actually oh there we go that went by fast and so here we go we're actually going to put on the actual color oh oh gee thanks jar the thingy came off how will I know what color this is now I think I, I can always replace that later or just open a jar every time I want to see what I'm using, I guess. There's that option. Okay. 
this is a really nice minty green. I know I got some minty what you call on this sound stuff on the first one so like just ow. This is my I don't have one of those nice little sticks, so you know what? I'm gonna use this. Doesn't have to let in any more. No roaches as well. I do not want the lead part. is taking forever. And only because I'm not really used to working from behind my camera. Oh, hmm. look at that. I don't know what that is. I mean, I guess you can't see it. Just a little fibery looking piece right there. Like, aha, I got it. Mm. You know, I can't even wipe it off either. And I really should have probably bought like some orange sticks. Because what little there is left of my cuticles that have been pushed back, they I still managed to snag. to cure and time for one more coat so I think I'm gonna have a big headache because like remember this is going to be the first time that I've used so many of the little um, clips the clip editor thing this is going to be awful But my manicure will be fabulous, so that's the plus side. Oh, but do you see that little streakiness right there? No, I think that's good. No one will know, except you guys, because you guys are watching this. There really is some streakalicious stuff going on here. And my husband definitely used the baby, so there may be a lot of baby noises going on in the next few seconds. So I, for some reason, neglected to take a video of me applying my top coat, so I would apply the top coat and I'm about to cure it. Ta-da! Another 30 seconds. And now I'm going to do my thumbnail, which is a little tricky since I'm used to having a little leverage by using my other fingers, but I mean, I probably shouldn't use that anyway. I 
can see it's going on really streaky because I'm putting on a really thin coat. I'm just going to do multiple coats and build up coverage instead of just trying to build up coverage with magenta. So this is how it, we're going to keep this on. Ta-da! So now that I've done all five fingers, I'm going to wipe off the sticky residue that forms with this piece of cotton, soft and alcohol, the usual. And I have read some places they don't just use cotton and alcohol because it could kill the shine. But I think it's still pretty shiny and it did a job. My only complaint would be I still have to practice how to do this better because I have all this little stuff right here. I'm not used to doing this from behind a camera. And but there you have it. It's this color which makes me sad it came off the thing. You can't really read it. I don't have autofocus so it's paint me oh so modern again by finger paints. I guess I can always just put it back on there. Yeah, that's what it is. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video.